Hello guys and welcome. Welcome back to another Sketchbook Sundays. Yay, I'm your host Danielle B. And I'm gonna be painting something extra beautiful and fun today. Um, some Afro puffs and some beautiful black girl magic. It's gonna be a super fun day. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the live stream. And if you happen to be pun the replay, put in hashtag replay crew. And we're going to jump right into it because we don't want to waste no time. I'm going to go over the materials. So let's get into it, you guys. Yay! So, as you know, we're going to be... Hopefully you can hear me. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had to move my mic over today. So hopefully you can hear everything that we have going on. Yeah. So if you have any questions, I'll have my mod, my beautiful moderator, Vanessa, will be down in the comments. And as we kind of progress through the painting, I will take breaks in between and answer any questions that you may have. Or if you have a comment or something like that, then I'll have time to kind of answer those things. Again, all the materials will also be in the description box if you happen to be part of the replay. I have um, my 11 by 14 Arteza uh, sketchbook per usual, you guys. Per use, right? I got my 11 by 14 sketchbook. And then I do have all of my Holbein, handy dandy Holbein acrylics that we're going to be using today. Yes, indeed. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing so well having the best day of your lives and this is mostly the colors that I usually use I don't get too fancy um it's usually I do like a simple four or five color combination mostly the primary colors except I substitute the red for a quinacridone magenta because I love quinacridone magenta so much and you can do so much with quinacridone magenta and again, I feel like you guys are not going to be able to hear me that well. We're going to put this over here. I'm oh, so sorry. You're not going to be able to hear me. I had to move my mic today, you guys. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> something weird going on with my mic. I had to move it today. Let me put y'all over there today. Hopefully you don't get any weird like feedback or whatever. But yeah, it's been a lot going on. So, um, so yeah, that's most of the material we're going to be using besides the acrylic wash. And then I have my regular brushes that I usually use. Which is, and you can't forget the rag. The rag is super duper important during this process because you're gonna need a rag to kind of drag off the excess stuff that you need. That's super important. And I'm gonna, you're gonna always be able to use that. You're gonna always need to use that when you, when it comes to um, like wash and stuff like that because it's so, such a wet medium. And I already have a glass of water off to the side. I, I recommend you get two glasses of water. And something like that when you kind of doing your thing <laughs> when you kind of doing your thing thing okay get you two glasses of water uh to kind of do whatever yes indeed <laughs> so i have my palette off it to the side also so we got this palette and you can use any palette that you have available use whatever you have available honey i don't think it really matters use whatever you have available and yes. So let's put some of this out. And then it's good to have like a separate kind of mixing palette off to the side. We're gonna put just a little bit. And you only need a little bit. Again, I use the same four combinations of paint to kind of do my portrait because you can mix so many different types of skin tones. So many types of different things 
with just by using um, just a few colors, very few colors. You really don't need a lot, for real. Especially with the gouache, when you're dealing with Holbein, Holbein is super duper um, concentrated. It's a very concentrated medium. Very, very concentrated. Mm -hmm. So today is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and especially when it comes to uh, it's finally getting warm. Thank God, right? Thank God for springtime. Put out a little bit of yellow. Because fun thing. Oh, and I also have my acrylic. Um, no, that's not actually acrylic, acrylic gouache. But I also have some Arteza off to the side, you guys. Arteza gouache off to the side. And that's going to give me a lot of things that I feel like I need. I may not use too much blue. That's just going to be mostly for mixing. And then, of course, you got to have your white and stuff like that off to the side. And then the yellow ochre, and you have your little mixing palette in the middle. And then, you know, I got my spray bottle. I always use my spray bottle to kind of do whatever I need to do. Um, you usually I have my spray bottle. And this is um a Holbein spray bottle too, I think. So you can see I'm like obsessed with Holbein, but you don't really need that. You can use any beautiful like misting bottle because it's mostly like a misting bottle. You're going to spray as per use, right? You want to get everything moist. Get it moist. Very moist. Yes. So I pretty much have two different yellows. You can have two different like cool colors. Two different warm colors. And then you definitely need to have like a black and a white. Or a blue and a white. Um, and she has like some orange flowers in her hair. I use a little bit of that. I hope you guys are hearing me okay, too. I'm going to use a little bit of that. A little bit of orange. This is more like a pre-mixed orange. This is a pre-mixed orange, but you know what I mean? Like, you can do whatever you feel like you need to do with it. Um, You could always add a little more red or add a little bit more magenta. If you happen to have magenta on your palette, or you can add, um, so you kind of play around with the with the combinations of color, you know what I mean? And that's going to determine kind of what you do with things. You have, and you put like yellow, red, and you just go back and forth between the different two. That's what we're going to pretty much use for our, um, wait, hold on, guys. All right, turn my mic up, just in case you guys cannot hear me the way you should. Good, 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 good. I'm I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys can hear me good. Okay. Good, 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 good. So I'm just picking out different colors, what I feel I'm going to need. And really evaluating. And I do this prep process beforehand because once you get started with the portrait, especially when it comes to like a, acrylic gouache, you don't want to have to be like mulling over the whole thing and trying to figure out where things go and how to do things and yada, yada, yada. You definitely don't want to do that. Um, because once you put it down, once you put it down, honey, it's done. Okay. And I also have my blow dryer off to the side. And as when I start to blow dry everything, and then I will answer any questions if you guys have any questions about it. Of course, you guys know I always 
get my stuff pre-drawn before we even start our live stream. Just to save time. And then let me turn it up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Here we go. Voila. And you can pretty much mix, do a whole mixture of stuff from here. I'm going to wet my brush. All wet. Dab off the excess. Okay. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually kind of go in and start with her hair. You guys know I like to start with the hair. I feel like the hair is like my favorite part of all time. Hi. Hey, guys. I see you in the chat. Yes. Hi. We'll, we'll chat some more as we kind of flow through this portrait. Hi, everybody. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming through. Funny enough, my dress finally came after all of this time. Uh, I was supposed to get my dress for my birthday, but it didn't come till to um, like yesterday. Funny enough. <laughs> Funny enough. Yes, happy Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to start with her hair. Of course, I'm going to lay down like a very light wash of like a dark color. And I want to really pay attention to that area. You know what I mean? So I'm going to lay that down. This sun, okay? The sun is like this. It's like super bright. It's like spirit hands. And then the next thing is like super low. You know, like, oh my God, like stop it. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit, I, my favorite combination, she has very dark hair, it's like a dark brown in the base of the hair, and then we're going to kind of add highlights as we move on, so I'm going to get a little bit of, what's happening? you don't want it to be too dark at first, because it's going to be really hard to kind of catch yourself after that, so I'm just going to go in. A little bit of this. And you see a little bit goes a long way, you guys. It goes a very long way. A little bit goes a very long way, yeah? And then I'm going to mix a little bit of the... You see that? That brown? My favorite combo. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. My favorite combo. See, you get a little bit of that dark color. So we get a little bit of a dark brown. And this is why I say I really love burnt sienna. And I love, like, yellow ochres. Just getting those little primary colors will give you a lot of different variations. All right? And I don't even want it to be that dark. So I'm going to add a little more red. And let me bring it up so you can see. A little more red to it. A little more, like, burnt sienna. And that's going to give me kind of what I'm looking for when it comes to, like, a darker color. But I don't want it to be that dark where it's, like, insane. You know what I mean? Okay, and so I want it to be moist, so I'm going to water that down. I want that to be... Ooh, really light. Ooh. Ooh. So we're just going to go in, and you pretty much just look in, making sure, you know what I mean? Like, you're not... Uh, do not cover up your flowers. And then she has flowers in her hair, so you guys know I absolutely love this. Wait, hold on. Let me bring this down so you can actually see what's going on. Mm -hmm. so you guys know I love this because... Yeah. But I'm still being mindful... Of her. Um, the flower in her hair. Because I don't want. Once you cover that flower up. It's going to make it really really hard. To kind of. Go back in. And like recolor that stuff. And you know. So yeah. So really just go through the contours. Of.
go through the con I'm just going through the contours. Hopefully you guys are seeing that well. Let me know if you're not. And I can like turn the brightness down. Um, <laughs> and I'm turning it down a little bit so you can see what's going on. But yeah, I'm just going through the 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 motions here, right? Getting that texture in. This is a lot of texture. I love a good Afro puff, you guys. That's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Is a good Afro puff. And I'm just taking my brush and I'm just going in. And doing a little bit of the squiggles. We got a little bit of squiggle right here. I'm going in really light. But I'm making sure not to paint within that um in that flower. I don't want to paint that flower. I don't. Um I'm just going in the squiggles, you know? Going in the squiggles. And remember what I told you guys before, the thing about acrylic wash is that once you lay it down, once you lay that down, it's gonna be very difficult to lift that up. So I definitely do not recommend that you, um, you know, go in and whatever, whatever. And I'm just going in and doing some light squiggles. And look at that. You forming the puff in your hand. You're forming the puff. You can feel you can feel the puff right now in your hands, yeah? Is everybody feeling the puff? <laughs> Are you guys feeling the puff? Okay. So she has this dark hair, like right here. Now, remember what I say about, um, like, brush strokes matter. So the direction you, you use to do on your brush matters right so it's good if you do it in like a um i don't know how to explain it but like a do 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 your strokes in the direction that the hair is going so her hair is going this way right so you could do it that way so that's what you really want to do She has a little part right here. And this is all really kind of like dark, right? So I'm gonna just do it that way, that way, that way. And we're just gonna go in. And you see, that's all one solid thing. I didn't really do, like, the swirlies and the puffies and yada, 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 right? I didn't do that. Do it that way. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I really should change this camera uh, angle so that you guys could be able to see, like, whatever. But you guys get the gist of what I'm talking about. Hopefully the camera angle is pretty good and you guys are happy with it. So now I'm just going in the angle here. Making all of this one solid thing. Because remember, this goes under the puff. Right under the puff. Say it with me. Goes under the puff. <laughs> oh man. Under the puff. Okay, cool. I want to know what you guys are painting 
Um, as you are you like painting with me? I always wonder what people are doing when they're like doing, you know, on a when they're watching like a live stream or like a longer video. I wanna know people what people are doing. I'm nosy like that. I wanna know. She needs to know. Okay. She needs to know. I wanna know what you're doing, sis. So at off to the side here, let me show you guys what I'm doing. I am adding more like a reddish brown, adding more burnt sienna. And burnt sienna is really, really important. It's like my favorite thing. Y'all already, y'all should already know. If you follow me long enough, you know that's this is like my regular palette. Burnt sienna. Okay. My regular Zagula palette. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, there you go. So you can at least see my book a lot better. And I'm just going in with the swirls, right? Especially around here because I want it to be nice and loose and light. Nice and loose and goose. And then we want it to be really wet because as you can see, the other side is really um, it's starting to dry up, right? So you're getting like those, like that very light layer up there. Yeah. Anybody ever seen this model? She's like an Instagram model, I think. She's a really pretty girl. She's actually from Brazil, believe it or not. Um. But you know, there's a, a lot of African roots in Brazil. I'm really not surprised. If India. I'm too. I'm just going around and I'm doing a little swirly swirl. Uh oh. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. Doing a little swirly swirl. Look at that. I mean, she's looking good already. UK time. Going to bed soon, so I can't join in. Oh, no. Well, you can always watch us pun the replay over there in the UK when you get up, honey. Because uh, when you get up. Wait a minute. What time is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what? 9, 10 o'clock in the UK? I guess depending on where you are. But yeah, you can definitely... I'm going to leave this up on my channel. This is definitely replay value. I'm going to add a little more blue because I like it when it's a little more... Kind of like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, uh, like dark. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I like it when it's a little darker. Mm -hmm. That's like a little darker here. That could be a little darker there. You can have fun with this a lot. You can really have fun with this and really do your thing. Mm. And you don't have to make her hair this color. If you want her hair to be some other color, you can still do the same techniques that I'm kind of showing you right now. You can still follow exactly what I'm doing. And the reason why I'm working from the top down, that way I'm not getting my hand in the paint as I start to work my way down from her head into um her like eyes or whatever <laughs> I 
I just put a little more darkness right at the base right there. And look at it, it's coming together. Just a few bell, 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 bell strokes. And we making progress, baby. We making progress, okay? Uh, oxtail, butter beans, and dumplings. What? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Who out there like roti? <laughs> roti. I used to have a best friend in New York. And story time. I can have story time while y'all chat in the comments. Hold up, let me get it. Get it together. So you can see I'm going really light towards the edges right there. You see I'm just going, again, brush strokes matter, brush work matters. So you just lightly do, 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 do like that. Like tap it, tap it, tap it, get your life. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Tap it and swirl. Tap and swirl. Tap and swirl, baby. Tap and swirl. You love roti, yes. A lot of a best friend when I was younger, when I was in my um you know, when we were teenagers or whatever. And she's from Guyana. Girl. My American ass, she's like harassing me to eat roti. Okay. You know, it wasn't nothing new to me because I had been around Caribbean people all my life. Especially when you're from New York. That's, you you know, it's a melting pot or whatever. But for me, I was like, no, I don't want no roti. <laughs> I was like, what is it? What what's roti? What is it? What does it mean? It's like what is what are you trying to do to me? I was like, no, I don't want it. That's what I said to her. But girl, she wasn't having it. She was like, uh-uh, that's an insult, you know. Don't go to no Caribbean person house and be like, nah, that food, I don't want that. That's weird. I don't want that. Man, you will never be invited back again if you don't get bust upside the head a couple of times, too. Uh, so she wasn't having that. I was forced to eat it, pretty much. Because we were best friends best friends, uh, that means I was pretty much forced to eat the roti, okay? I didn't even know what a roti was. I was like, sis, sis, <laughs> you know, like, I'm good. Like, we good over here. Like, I try to, like, tell her nicely, like, nah, 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 you know what I'm saying? We good. I love you so much, yeah. <laughs> you know, we good. Like, I don't want none of that, whatever. And she's like, what? No. And then they always partying. <laughs> Caribbean people party. You hear me? Okay. So she was always partying. They always got some party, some sort of bashment going. I was like, sis, I'm not going to get away from this roadie one way or another. <laughs> uh, this roti, like you trying, I'm like out of all the dishes, you trying to get me to eat roti. I'm like, okay, can I have like a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Like give me some oxtails, whatever. Like I'll, I'll eat that, whatever. You know, my baby father, he's from Jamaica, so like he introduced me to all the different Caribbean dishes. You know, like uh, uh, uh. Akin sawfish, all these different things, but they have Akin sawfish in like Trinidad and, and Guyanese. It's kind of all mixed together, but they all have like different versions. But anyway, he introduced me to all the different dishes or whatever. But even with him, I was like, nah, nah, nah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we good. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember the day he came home with some bull food soup, man. I was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. I'm not eating whatever that thing is in that soup. I don't know what it is, but you're not going to force me to eat that. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not eating it. <laughs> but again, that's blasphemy. You can't be with a Caribbean man telling him, nah, nah, I don't want that. Like, what the hell is that thing inside the soup? He's looking at me like I'm crazy. All right, I'm mixing. I'm supposed to be mixing something in here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get like an orangey color to put in her. So I'm feeling kind of good with the base of the hair, right? We got a base down pack. Feeling good about it. This is our first layer, right? Um, let me put a little bit of that in here. You know, that's kind of going to give me the orange I want. That's a little bit of two different yellows. And then I added some magenta in there. So I feel like this kind of, so you can look at the photo and kind of feel, get a feel for, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> get a feel for, uh the amount of like orange or the type of orange you want. I feel like that's a good orange. You can kind of look at it and see what you want. You can add a little more magenta, but magenta is very strong, so you don't really need a lot of it, yeah? You don't need a lot of it, baby. Okay. So yeah. Back to the sister's story, okay? And really, you know, you can cover this in yellow first if you wanted to. You could actually color cover this in yellow. And then go back to it if you really want wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Uh <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That shit was like pure pressure. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like what? You can't go over a Caribbean person's house and not eat. You gotta eat. Either you gotta eat, you gotta have rhythm, you gotta dance. You gotta be good. You know what I'm saying? You can't be up in there acting all uptight, like, nah, I don't I don't eat that sort of food. Honey. <laughs> Whoa. They be like, what? You don't eat that sort of food. And nah, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't date. Okay, so that's a little too orange. A little too orange for me. So I'm going to add some yellow to it. And I'm going to black, black off the extra in my rag. That's a little bit too much going on. That's a little bit too much, okay? So I'm adding some yellow to it. That's what we're, what we're going to do here. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. Right, ma'am? You know what? It's like... um, I'll soak up some of this water, too. I feel like it's too much. It's too much. I feel like it's too much. I'm actually going to spray it some more because it seems like it's sucking up the moisture, man. Sucking it up. Yeah. That roti thing. All right. So I added more yellow. Yeah, because I needed to break that up a little bit. Uh, break it up. 
Very cute. Very cute. We love it here. We love it. Don't we? We love that here. <laughs> so even like you add one side, one side of it could be like orange and then you like whatever, right? This one is a little more yellow. So I'm going to go in with the yellow orange. I'm going to do that. And this is why I said leave that area white. So that you're not, you know, messed up. So leave it, leave it white. Try to leave some white areas. The right, the wide areas. And look at that. That's so pretty. I love a good flower, honey. Y'all know I love flowers beyond anything else. Okay. <laughs> I love flowers among anything else. And it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, our classic cal. I was trying to be sophisticated with the music. Musica. But yeah. You know? All I need is to put up my pinky and we was good. We was good to go. Got something else going on here. Okay, cool. So I'm feeling this color. Then we have another one here. The good thing about these brushes here is they hold their point. So we could really get in there and kind of do different things that we wanted to. Oh, no. Nah. Bugging. We good. We good. <laughs> uh... yeah. All right, let me go to my regular tracks here. What's the weather like over there in the UK right now? Is it like hot? What is it like over there? And it's probably better if you even start out with like a um like a more yellowish color anyway. Because then you can really just build up the richness of those colors as you kind of like dry things out. Wash painting is similar to, to um, it's very similar to oil paint because um, you have to really pay attention to what you're doing and it's best if you like start out, you know, kind of just light on things and yada 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 type of whatever Look at that, it's looking good. I ain't getting nothing in my own. I'm going to make sure I ain't get no paint in my eyeball. You know, you get paint in your eyeball. That's it. <laughs> Weather in the UK is sunny in springtime. A bit cool at night. But I can't complain. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Can't really do too much complaining, right? 
turns to be in a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's getting like that here. But the crazy thing is that we didn't have much of a... Um, we didn't have much of a... What do you want to call it? Like a... a sum, we didn't have much of a winter time. Funny enough. We didn't have much of it at all. Reels. All right, cool. That's looking good. It's looking good, good, good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Looking good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clean that off. Clean it off. This is a great time if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down so I can like pop in and chat with you guys for a hot second because I'm going to be drying. And after I finish drying her hair, and if you happen to be pun to replay, you can go ahead and dry each thing in between layers. So I'm going to dry her hair and then answer a little bit of questions. And we're going to pop back into it. Um, let me see if I can plug things in. I got to show you guys my full dress too. I don't think I'm, I'm able to show you my full dress. What in the world? It's like so bright outside. My studio will be like super bright one minute and dark the next, honey. And dark the next. It's dark. Alright, let's plug her in. Cool, cool. Should've got my cushion. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. All right, and we're back. I'm better than ever. <laughs> we're back and better than ever. So before we work on her eyeballs, do you guys have any questions about the gouache, about the lay-in, anything like that? This is a great time to go ahead and ask it about materials, what you should get, what you shouldn't get, yada, yada, yada. Let me fix this really quickly. I know y'all gonna be like, oh my god, like, really? That is, like, so bright. If I don't fix it, it'll drive me insane. It'll drive me insane! Ooh. Let me get my phone so I can see... what y'all talking about mm -hmm. 
And don't forget to hit that like button, you guys. I'm looking at your comments. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hi, Jada. How are you? I see you, Leo lady. What's popping? Um, blah, blah, blah. hello everybody from London. Gonna try them links again, y'all. It was kind of janky. Oh yeah, some of them like, especially Discord. I don't know what be going on with the Discord links. They be like whatever. So yeah. So if you guys don't have any questions, we're gonna move on to her eyes, right? Move on to the eyes. I think it's gonna be fun. Get her eyes together. Put your love on me. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, I'm gonna get my little brush now. We're gonna switch over to a different brush. And... This is gonna be my detail brush. It's gonna be more of a detail. And I'm gonna start with her eyes. I usually like to start with the eyes and then kind of work my way around. Last time I did not do that, and I kind of regret it. Especially, you know, I like to get the eyes in first, and then that way it's not like looking out out at me looking crazy or whatever. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad you're enjoying the music. Yeah, I'm trying to um figure out something that was gonna be good for you guys. It wasn't gonna be crazy. Pray, pray. Yeah. All right, so, ooh, of course I stuck my hand right in that yellow. Ooh. Okay, so we have our um, our regular. We, I'm still working with these regular colors, just mixing stuff in the middle, and I'm gonna get like her eyes are pretty dark, especially in the picture. So I'm gonna get like I'm gonna fill in her pupils first with like this dark color, but it's not as you know I don't use black, so it's not gonna be a black. It's gonna be more of like a um, a blue and a little bit of purple and a little bit of brown. And that brown, that combination is still gonna give me something dark, but it's not gonna give me something that's gonna be black. You feel what I'm saying? You you're not gonna be able to see the. the the full nuances of kind of what I'm talking about, but you, you know. And I'm gonna take my little detail brush, yeah. Now, you know, you always gonna have the little ring around the eye, ring around, the, I would say ring around the eye. <laughs> ring around the pupil, whatever you wanna call it. And I think that's more like the iris, so. I'm just gonna go around again you should practice this before you try it practice doing circles that's how you get good at doing certain brush strokes practice 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 um practice make perfect And even though that is um, not black, it looks black, right? And then I'm kind of just going with whatever's there. Filling it in, but then I'm gonna get a little more brown as we go here. And you, you know, you can actually leave, like when you um, actually do this with gouache, 
you can actually leave a space, leave some white space, or I don't even know what that, that word is that they call it, but negative spacing. So you can leave some space and that will actually give the illusion as if it is if it's already a highlight. That's like a a built-in highlight when you do with the negative spacing. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave my little negative spacing in there. If you don't get it, you know, the first time, that's fine. You don't need to get it the first time. <clears throat> Let it kind of do whatever it does. Let's see what it does. And she has, like, really, like, big, beautiful, like, doughy eyes. Would love some advice about layering gouache. I always struggle with that. Yeah. Um, Leo, lady, remember I was telling you? Well, remember I was telling you guys how I feel about when it comes to layering, the key to layering, especially when it comes to gouache, is drying in between layers. That's why I tell you guys after you do like a major layer, go ahead and dry it. And then you can go on top and keep just layering and layering and layering. And it'll pretty much take it as long as you dry it. Now, because I'm using acrylic gouache, that is permanent. That's more like acrylic. And because it's more like acrylic, it doesn't really matter if I do that or not. But if you're just going to use like an a regular acrylic, you know, a regular regular whatever regular um gouache and you're definitely gonna need to do that whole thing you're definitely gonna need to do that whole thing you're gonna need to dry in between each layer and that should help you out a lot and I, I really had to learn that over time i did Really had to learn it. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of brown. I have the brown over here already. And I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna do like a dark brown into these dark um, creases in her eye. And don't worry if you feel like it's too dark. You can always water it down. And I promise you it's not as dark as you think it is. It just isn't. Because once it dries, it won't, it won't be that dark. The key, if you want to like usually fix something, that's why you got to work really lightly too.
Work lightly, honey. Work lightly. Work it, work it, work it. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna put like a a light brown wash right here. I still want to be able to see my drawing, so I, I don't want to get too out of hand with it. Hmm, Jenny with the good hero. Uh, I will read that in just a second, you guys. I'm kind of going to take some of that. Um, I'm going to do like a little bit of a red. I don't know how to explain it, but like a... Um, I'm going to do like a reddish brown. And you know, get underneath this eye. I'm gonna take that same dark color again. This all like I tell y'all before. What what I do with my white? Okay, now I need some white. Mm. Yeah. I'm looking crazy for a little while. Like what? What? What do you want from me? What are y'all staring at? <laughs> Uh, the eyes, honey. The eyes. It brings it all together. Ooh. It brings it all together. So, I, I don't know what you guys are watching these days. Even if you want to replay, I want to know what is your latest show. You guys are not... You know, I'm always asking what you guys are watching. I'm telling you. You guys are always... Um... Filling me in on what you guys are watching. I wonder what in the world did I do? I would hate to use. I really don't want to use the regular acrylic paint. That was hard. Mm -hmm. Ooh, found something. Found it. Found it. I gotta buy me every time I say I'm gonna go get me um a large white gouache. If you don't invest in anything else, invest in a white gouache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm glad somebody like my humor. Some people don't be getting it. Cause I be real sarcastic sometimes. They be like, what? Are you joking? I was like, yeah, like you having a breakdown? What's happening with you? Um, okay, so I got a little bit of white. I put some white out. Like I said, invest in you some white wash because that's gonna save your lot. White wash saves lot, okay? And I'm getting a little bit of that, and I'm gonna mix it in with the stuff I already have on my palette, right? And you can see that's gonna give me like a gray, I don't know, it's like a dark blue gray. Remember, my grays are never black. 
So you're not going to get no black gray. You're going to get a blue gray. And blue gray gray is blue. I don't even know how to explain it. But even if you do a black and a, and a, and a white, it's still blue. But it's like dark. I don't know. Whatever. Don't even get me started. Whatever. Okay, it's like a thing. It's a thing. Look it up. It's a thing. <laughs> People are like, what? What is she talking about? I'm like, what is she saying? That's not right. I don't think that's right. Uh. Lately, I've been watching a lot. Of, you know, you guys know I love period pictures besides Bridgerton. I've been watching, um, uh, what is it? One Day to Die. I think I got a whole subscription to PBS Masterpiece Theater, okay? Because <laughs> y'all know I love me some period movies, okay? I, I swear to God, I think I'm uh, a rich white woman from the 70s century. <laughs> <laughs> says I am a rich white woman from the 17th century okay that's what I am don't judge me you know don't judge me judge your mama <laughs> oh man the people be like why you like them weird ass movies why you like them weird ass shows what's going on okay so let's fill this in. You see, I'm going in with the gray. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, like, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. All right, so I'm going in with the gray. Remember what I tell y'all. The eyes are not white, sis. The eyes are not white. They're not white, okay? Um, The painting, da, 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 da. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Exactly. Always feel like somebody's watching me. And then you can even add like a little bit of brown in there. As long as you add some white to it, you should be good. Why is this acting up like this? Why are you acting up? Why you don't you don't love me? You see, I'm putting a little bit of all these different colors. Because the eyes are not, stay with me, the eyes are not white. <laughs> You're not. They're not white. They just aren't. But even some people's eyes are like they do have that, like um, very like dark glazed over it. Let me fix it. <laughs> Very first swing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Dab it, got it, and I keep doing it. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like some sickness. Why do you keep sticking your brush in there? Danielle, why? Because I can. Danielle. Speaking of myself in the third person.
So I'm just rounding her eye out, back out. <laughs> looking cray cray. Like your eye was looking cray cray. <laughs> So yeah, we just filling her eyes in, we doing all of that. We doing it, honey, doing it. The really dark grays can go like at the top of the lid where there's like a shadow. You can have like really dark darkness even up here. Like I can put it in here if I wanted to. Yeah, you can do put it at the top of the eyeball. You know, doing these eyes can get really realistic. A lot of different things can go on. And I'm just adding white. I'm going strictly into the white and you could actually just mix on the paper pretty much. You can get a little bit lighter. There you go. Yeah. Voila. And we're going to go on top. That's nice as about, um... I gotta read what y'all recommending. Yeah, I need some good shows. Cause I was watching that horrible show. What is it? The uh uh wedding uh um uh, that ultimatum show is like on Netflix and it's like the women is like begging the men to marry them, like, oh my god, can you please be my husband? I need a husband so badly. Can you please marry me? Oh, I need you. Like, oh my god, no, sis. I had to get off that show. I've been screaming at the damn TV for the whole... <laughs> for the whole thing, I've been screaming at the damn TV like, what in the hell is happening? <laughs> like, sis, we do not care. The hell. I'm gonna put a little bit up there. Put it up there. Up here. Come on. Sis, we do not care. We just don't. Okay? You like begging your man to be with you? Okay. That works. <laughs> That works like a charm, begging a man to be with him. Where the hell y'all was raised at? Where was y'all raised? My mom told me, you gotta let the man, the man is supposed to chase you. You feel what I'm saying? But I mean, that's just my opinion, but the man's supposed to chase you. He's supposed to be like, yeah, sis. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to he's supposed to chase you and choose you. Not the other way around. I put a little bit of like reddish brown in the in the corner of the eye because you know you have like the tear duct you don't want it to be too red but you want it to be you know what i mean i mean what y'all think you know what i'm saying like y'all think like i don't know but that's just not that's not the jam Begging people to, you know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all think? I don't know. I know we got a new generation now. People like, oh, you gotta beg the man to be with you. No, I don't. The fuck? Mm -hmm. 
They're like, that's the key. You want a man? You beg him to be with you. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Thing felt like it was choking me to death. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, at least buy me some dinner first. Like, god damn. Wait a minute, sis. I'm just going in, kind of like smoothing things out. And you can kind of build up layers around the eyes and stuff like that. Really just take your time. You can really go in and get realistic with eyes. Um, you know, for today's portrait purposes, portrait purposes, we won't be doing all that, okay? But it gives you an idea of kind of how to do it, you know? Just get those layers in. We had a little bit of a bigger portrait today, so that's why I was able to show y'all like the eyes, how to like get in there and just do different things. I know I'm not answering y'all comments, you guys, but I'm trying to just paint. Get the paint, school. And it's looking real already. It's scary. Like, stop looking at me. I don't know where your mommy is. <laughs> I don't know where your mommy is. Stop looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Your mommy, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know where your mommy is. <laughs> All right, let me zoom you guys out because we'll, we'll, we'll zoom back in again when we kind of like do our thing. So that's looking pretty good. Very scrum deliumptious. Hmm. You could even do a dance like scrum the mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a little bit of break time, and I'm gonna answer any questions. Check the chat a little bit. So if you have some questions, it's a good time to pop it in. So I can kind of like do our thing and look at that really quickly as we kind of make our way, honey. She's looking at it. She's ready. <laughs> All right, let me look at um the chat here um new generation that doesn't realize begging is counterproductive exactly sus exactly sis why you why you begging okay nah okay especially if you're trying to get um well let's just say if you're trying to get certain type of men again I, this is not a date a dieting a dead a bit of dieting See, that's what I get for talking shit. <laughs> this is not a dating website. <laughs> but if you trying to get a certain caliber of men, yeah, honey, doing all that, no, 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 that's a no-no. Well, especially for me, like, I don't beg. Like, I'm not doing any of that, sis, okay? I don't care. Fat, big body, whatever. I don't care. No, brother, you better come correct or don't come at all, okay? I do not bet. She does not bet. Right? Um, what else are you saying? Let me, I gotta go up, you guys. Oh, somebody redacted. Redacted. Um, so, uh, definitely more well-versed in gouache than me, but the trick generally, okay, cool, cool, cool. Answering questions. We would love to hang with you outside of YouTube. Check out the link before you join. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Check out our Discord. We're trying to grow that out, y'all. The Discord and all that. Yada, yada. Mm-hmm. I miss so much. What's 
Um, cook da da da. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're an hour and twenty minutes in, y'all. Um, da -da -da. Then you know you have the coolest art vibe on YouTube. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really wanted, and that's the thing. Like when I started this channel, I wanted it to be like down to earth. Like we could just be chatting, talking. And I wanted to break it down where it was a lot easier because a lot of these YouTube, well, you know, a lot of these channels, they be mad dry. And you're like, uh, and then you apply the fifth layer and then you moisturize, moisturize. <laughs> Dab your brush, dip it in the water. Like, nah, I, that's mad boring. I don't care. Now I don't even care about you tu your tutorial because you mad boring. <laughs> yes, I also freehand my, my drawing. But for tutorial purposes, I do not freehand my drawing. Nine times out of ten, I do a lot of, like, I'll do, like, some of the drawing and then fill it in with the rest or... I have my traceables. I have a lot of my stuff kind of pre-made and pre-done if I want to do like a, a thing. But I will show you. Uh, if you want to see my like my real art, 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 like stuff that's mine, you can check out my Patreon. Or um, here's like one that I'm working on right here that's on the easel. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it though. But it's going to be in this one. You see that? Y'all not going to be able to see it. But anyway, I hand drew that. And then it's a lot of little hand drawing. I do, especially in the beginning, when I first started doing art, I recommend that everybody hand draw first. Hand draw everything first. When you get it down packed and you learn it, then you can kind of go through and trace and do whatever else you want to do. But, um... Don't be trying to trace, you know what I'm saying? And you can't really draw too good because it makes it where you don't have, you know what I mean? Like the major fundamentals to kind of do the thing. Because even with me constantly doing tutorials and sometimes I forget little things too. And I'm like, damn, I should be hand drawing this stuff out every single day. However, for time saving purposes, I can't do that every day. But yeah, let's jump back in. I want to get the um, flat color. I will answer some more of you guys' questions as we flow through. I want to get a little bit on... Let's see. Um, I'm going to put like some stuff on the face. So I'm just going to pre-wet it just a little bit. Pre-wet it a little bit. And... I'm going to put, like, different types of colors on her face, though. Different type of colors. 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 Again, this doesn't have to be accurate to the color she is. You don't have to worry about that. Like, if you don't want her to be this light. Or, like, you know, have an Afrocentric vibe. You don't have to. You can make her any color you want to make her. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting some color on here. Again, you shouldn't do this until you know exactly what you want to do, right? Like what color you want her to be, this, stand the third. That's the only time you should do this. This is more like a pinkish brown. So I have quite a bit of pink in here. Da 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 da. Um, and then I'm going to add a little more red and whatever like whatever you know and a little more red like put some red over here my face doesn't need to have like a realistic vibe you can do different colors and that's why i say it's good to kind of know like your fundamentals like color theory drawing those are the two fundamentals i recommend that you guys know so that when you ready to kind of design your own artwork, you, you're kind of like, you know, 
you know where you're going with it, pretty much. What am I saying though? Jump something over here. Mm. Do it, baby. Do it. Mm. I'm adding a lot of white to this because, again, I don't want it to be super, you know what I mean? Once you get this light, the light in, then you can kind of go in with your shadows and whatever else you need to do. And that's only for the purposes of gouache. That's the only thing that I recommend. Gouache is kind of very weird because it's like if it starts to dry and you layer something else on top of it, it will continuously get darker and darker and darker. So be very careful. That's why I always go light first and then go dark later. I'm putting a little bit of shadow underneath her nose. It's always going to be a shadow underneath the nose, like underneath here. If you, if you feel underneath your nose, when you're doing a portrait, you always want to put some sort of like darkness underneath the nose. That's like a dark red on her lips. It's not really dark. It's like a skin color a little bit. So I'm going to add lots of white. Let y'all see what I'm doing. Mixing a little bit of skin tone in and we're still getting like her lip. And now we're getting a little bit like a skin tone, right? For the lips.
Mm-hmm. All right, I want to get in the middle of her. I need to put like a little bit of shadow like in between the lips, you know, where they meet. So it could be like a darkness or whatever in there. It gotta, it gotta be dark, honey, dark. So I'm gonna get a little bit of purple. So you guys know I don't use black, so yeah. Purple, it'd be able to give me what I want. I mean, you could always make it darker if you feel like you want to make it darker, and then I'm gonna put this purple right up under her. Um, in her nostril. And that's this not realistic colors, but it's the same concept, even though it's not realistic colors. If you don't want to put the purple, like say you don't have purple, then use like a dark color, any sort of dark color it will do. Just don't make it too dark. I left a little bit of white right there, a little bit of white space. Just because, because, okay. Mm. All right. Like when I hear music like that, it makes me miss New York. There's no place, let me tell you, there's no place like New York in the summertime. You could smell all the beautiful foods all the people and you see them and so many different walks of life and especially before before you know the big c right uh rona in the summertime people got their windows open heading to coney island windows you know what i'm saying like blasting the music and you can hear the the beats and sounds of the ancestors and the caribbean and you just in your car like yeah yeah like and the sun is beating down it's like so good it's so good i'm telling you that right now <laughs> oh, don't get me started yo don't don't do it don't do me It does. It makes me miss it. It does make me miss it so much. It makes me miss it so much. The only drawback is like so freaking expensive to live there. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, I'm continuously spraying my palette, you guys. Continuously spray. Even if you use an acrylic, it continuously spray. Especially with acrylic because that thing, man. <laughs> acrylic, that's a temperamental beast, honey. Very temperamental. Very temperamental. I'm just over here mixing some of this skin tone once again. I ran out. Now we ran out. Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to get underneath her.
Right, so we can get our little bit of a shadow under there. And then I'm gonna go in add a little bit of yellow Uta. My favorite combo combo nation. What in the world is happening? I need some more mixing space. That's what's happening. All right, spray it. Now I'm getting a mixture of every color known to man. <laughs> That's a little bit of a lighter color. I need lighter. I need lighter than that. Too much. It's too much. I'm gonna wash that off my breath. It's gonna drive me crazy if I don't. She's coming together. Are there any protectors you're recommending? Uh, that's what I like to see. This is all her skin. Skin, skin, skin. Let me move it up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. All these skin. Mm. Mm. Right, so clavicle is here so you're gonna have some sort of shadow right here in the clavicle the camera went dark again it's like oh yeah ma'am got too much brightness going in here we're gonna pop that there pop this here And then we have something going on here. I'm mixing, mixing, mixing like mad, y'all, over here. That's why I'm not doing much talking. When I get to... Look, I'm doing too much. I'm going too fast. No. Don't do it. Don't do it, Lassie. Don't do it. I 
won't do it, Percy. <laughs> you know what's funny? I found a channel on um on YouTube. And oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Let me not tell that story yet. And I'm gonna get distracted. Let's pop these little there's like dark spots in the flowers up there. So let's pop that in. Pop some stuff on her shirt. And then we're going to dry it. And we're going to continue. We're going to continue, sis. You look so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It looks so cute. Oh, wait. I forgot her ear. I always forget the ears. They're like an afterthought to me. <laughs> I always forget them damn ears, man. The ears. Like, ears where? Here's the ears. I always forget about these ears, man. Always forget about the ears. Yep. All right, her shirt is white though, but I mean, I don't have to make it that color, but still. I'm gonna make it a little more blue than white. Um, I'm gonna try. Yeah. It's gonna be like a gray, really. It's gonna be like a green. And I actually need some more white. That's what I need. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, guys. I don't know why I keep putting that back over there. It's like a, a sickness. <laughs> like a sickness. Why do you keep putting it back over there? When you know you need it. You know we need it and you keep putting it back over there. Why? Like why? Why? You know you need it. Hmm. Maybe it's just... I always end up with like thousand pounds of paint all over my face. Somebody gotta remind me. I have got to go to the art store <laughs> this week. Oh man, I got to. I am adding more white.
Y'all can't even see it down there like that, but let me show y'all. It's like these white spiky things down there. So I made it like a little too dark, but you can always go back in. That's the good thing about it. You can always go back in and add uh, whatever you feel like you want to add to it. You have to be able to do the job. Do the job that you need to do. All right, let's pop these, the dark bits inside of the flower and then we're gonna dry. And you guys can ask any questions that you may have for me or I'll look back in the chat. See if we can catch up. See if we can catch on up. And you guys know the regular combination I'm using for the dark bit inside of whatever. You guys know. <laughs> Okay, so let's start over here. Um, I'm just gonna put like the good thing about oh you can't even see that sorry. The good thing about gouache is that you can go on top with uh like a, a more opaque layer, and then that should be able to get you what you need. And I'm just going in and just putting things there, leaving little holes, just dabbing and stuff like that. That's what she's doing, okay? And you know, sometimes, I don't know um, if you guys like art journaling, I don't usually put that anywhere but I mean I could start putting it on my patreon I guess in case you guys are interested in it like art journaling and art journaling is really great way to kind of get your you know your feelings out how you feeling at the moment sometimes like if I was gonna do an art journaling session I would do like the portrait on this side and then I would write like a whole thing here Thing, you know how I felt what what date it was da, da, da. and it's great to look back on this stuff and even when you're gone and your family you know when you're no longer here on this earth and people are looking through your stuff they get to see how you felt that day and what are, what were you thinking what was your process and stuff like that so I think that's a fun thing to kind of do now this is a very loose kind of portrait like and it's still going with the whole theme of how she looks and beautiful like that. But you don't have to be like, you know, beholden to the reference photo, so to speak. Um, I'm going to dry. So let's dry. And then I'm going to answer any questions and look back at the chat. Let's go. Come up here. 
Okay, and we're back. And better than ever. I say that every time. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny. <laughs> like, I say that every single time. I'm going to look at the chat and see if you guys have any questions. And comments. We're going to look back a little bit and see. Um, um, thank you. Back in the day. Back in the day, lastly, back in the day, um, what he will do really is just an oh, get it up proportion, right? Da, da, da. I think you guys are just chatting. See, I've been using the grid method. Um, Crafty Leo says, I've been using the grid method. Oh, god, I got stuff all over me. <laughs> Uh, I got stuff all over me. I would not, it would not be my stream if I didn't have stuff all over me. It's crazy. Um, Crafty Leo says, um, I've been using the grid method as a crutch. Drawing these grids is becoming tiresome. Exactly. I don't really like the, um, the grid method. To me, the grid met method is really, really, um, I don't know. It's just like, number one, it involves math. So I'm like, no, no, we're not doing that. Uh, we're not doing any math today. <laughs> we're not doing any math, honey. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Here's some of it. So I don't see any questions. So we're going to move on, you guys. And we're going to go to the next day. We're actually going to... Fill in her earrings, so we're gonna do that. I thought these earrings were like super cute. I'm like, I need some of them earrings. You need some of them earrings, okay? Um, this is a good time to change out your water if you're like painting along with me, or if you happen to do this, like you're watching it and you're gonna be painting later, or you can actually grab another water. I actually have another water off to the side, but we're not gonna get to that right now. Uh, this necklace is like strangling me. Okay, cool. Here we go. Alright, so her, her, um, I'm gonna get this. Her earrings are kind of like a goldish brown. I don't even know how to explain them, but they're like a goldish brown. Um,. And I mean, I guess you could do like a green too if you wanted to do like a green. Try to make them green. It feels brown. To, it feels green to me, but maybe I'm mistaken. But it feels kind of like green, a green color. That's what kind of. Like it's giving green. It's really giving green for me. It's giving green. Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Feeling it.
What is it looking like, y'all? That's some cute, it's cute, it's cute. Trying to pay attention so I don't. My comb don't need to be perfect. <laughs> That's what you get a free hand comb. It's like a, it's like it's. I mean, it's kind of accurate though, because you ever comb your hand and one of the the things kind of like go off to the other side. <laughs> one of the things is like not today. Right at the end. She's looking good with her, her weird um raggedy comb man. Alright, cool. I'm gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna mess with it. Cause I will. <laughs> I will turn around and mess with it like a lot. Be like going in, like fiddling around and doing all these different things. <laughs> all right, we got to dry it again really quickly. I'm not going to mute you guys though. Are y'all ready? It's my time to shine, baby. My time to shine. Alrighty then, cool. Now she got the light coming through. He's like, it's time to get sex day. <laughs> oh, man. Time to get sex day. All right, cool. I actually want to put a date on this, too. Uh, I like to date things. Am I going to date it?
What's today's date, y'all? What's today's date? We don't know. We don't know. Oh, oh. Or... Four twenty-two. Okay, cool. Cause I always do stuff sometimes, and then I go back years later. Cause I keep a lot of my sketchbooks, and I go back years later, and I can never know. Like I like to know when I did certain things. You know what I'm saying? I like to know. She wants to know. All right. So at this point, the next steps are just to add, keep adding layers, adding layers. So we're just gonna add like one more quick layer on top and then put our highlights in and then we'll be ready to roll. We'll be ready. Ready for a close-up at that point. Okay. And I still have to put something on her eyebrow. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, I didn't even finish her eyes. I didn't even think about that. Did not even finish her eyes at all. I see. We still gotta give her like some eyelashes. So we're gonna do that. You gotta do her eyelashes. And then she has like a dark, a very dark lash line. She probably has the false eyelashes on. So they have like false eyelashes on. I'm doing my favorite brown um, combination. Combination. I ain't even doing that. Hopefully, you can see that. It's gonna work. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. Trying to keep my hand out of the way. So she had like a a very dark kind of whatever. It's looking good so far. Keep it up with the good work. Thank you. Thank you. What's poppin'? Okay. 
So, uh, let's add a little bit. She has very dark, kind of very dark, um, whatever you call it, um, eyebrows. But I don't want to full, I don't want to full blown go dark. So I'm going to just fill it in with this brown. I'm going to do that lightly. I'm just trying to give her a little bit of a definition. Trying to get a little bit of definition. Damn hair is in my face. Come on, here. Alright, that's not what I want.
la 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 no you better i know i'm acting like y'all not here but i'm trying to move fast so this thing doesn't dry up on me so it does not dry up for me As you can see, shadows make a big difference, And you know, I slow down a lot of things so I can be able to show y'all. So I'm like moving at hyper speed. Oh, wait. Hold on. All right, we got to put that same color, skin tone color, in her scalp, y'all. You know, your scalp is always going to be a lot lighter than anything else. So, got to make it the same as skin tone. Add a little bit of orange here and there. My flowers. I think this one might be one of my faves, you guys. This portrait. It might be. Alright, so let's do her eyebrows. And I totally forgot about the line. I don't even know why. Where did you go? Where did we go? Dropping everything to the floor. Beautiful work as always. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, I think I enjoyed this one today, you boys. I really did. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, what am I trying to do? We still got to do eyelashes, eyebrow. We're gonna do a little bit there. Again, you can you can really go deep with this. Like if you do this on your own, and you want to continue to layer, 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 you're gonna get more and more depth more and more richness, more and more realism as you continue to kind of do your design, okay? But I really love, I'm loving the looseness of this because usually you guys, you know I like to do realistic portraits and I'm really, really tight. I'm always doing like everything like super realistic and really, really tight. Sorry for the glare, you guys. I hope it's not too bad. I can get up and close the blinds, but you guys can see it, right? Um, hopefully the sun's going down. That's why it's like doing nonsense. <laughs> Cover it and then you're going to be, well, you still see it on my hand. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. So let's add, wait, hold on. All right. We got a little bit of brown here. 
And you'll see why I'm adding this brown in a minute, just to kind of give this some foundation. I'm really liking the looseness of this portrait. I really am. Like, we could just, like, flow through, you add different colors, and you can really get, like, you know, you can really get experimental with this if you wanted to. You really can. Get experimental with that. Okay. Um, all right. So let's add a little bit of a dark. Now we're going to go a little bit darker. Meaning. Hopefully it's a, it's a major glare. It's like crazy. Hopefully it's not too bad. You guys. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. I don't know. Okay. I'm adding my little bit of blue. Just to darken that brown up. And it mixed in with our gray, which is fine. Um, yeah. But I feel like that's going to be too dark, so I'm going to add a little more blue. I mean, uh, brown. I want it to be dark, but not that dark. Okay, so now we're going to go in. I'm going to add these hairs. I'm going to add the hairs. That's kind of why I added that, that brown. Hopefully you can see, but that's kind of why I added that brown. God, this glare, y'all. All right, I'm going to have to get up. Hold on. Okay, cool. I had to close it up, y'all, because it was getting crazy. It was getting cray-cray. It was interfering with our alone time with the painting. <laughs> our alone time with the painting, honey. It was interfering. All right, so you see how, um, why I added that brown base, right, to the eyebrows? Because it's always going to be like a dark, a dark base in your eyebrow. Um... Even if you want, it's going to be like a five o'clock, five o'clock shadow. I mean, it's going to be darker underneath the eyebrow. And then the hair, the dark hair is kind of like go on top, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Thanks, thanks, V. I appreciate you. So I'm going to get my yellow. I have a yellow pasta pin. You know, my favorite thing in the whole wide world, sissy. I'm not even going to mess with her hair. Like, again, I really love the looseness of the hair. I'm just going to probably go in. Um, get my little bit of brown. And... My brown... That darkness right there, that's going to reinforce what I want. I felt like her hairline was a little too wide. It was a little too wide, sis. All right, cool. So, I'm going to get my Posca pen. But if you don't have a Posca pen, you can use, I'm using yellow. 
Y'all know I love my Posca pen. If you don't have a Posca pen, go ahead and get, um, a, what's her name? Um, go ahead and just use your whatever detail brush that you have available. And I'm going to go in and... Cause you know it's like little dots inside of this orange flower. I'm gonna go in. Put out dots. Dot 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 dot. And this is acrylic, so this is gonna be permanent. Make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. The fun thing about that is you can do. Wait a minute, y'all can't even see that. I'm just putting. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm trying, trying, trying. You see that? Boom, 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 boom. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? There you go. And this is acrylic, so it's going to be permanent. So make sure you're, you know what I mean? Like you actually want it to be like that. Before you do it. I am doing the other side. And you could actually make these white first. The white dots, you could do white dots first. And then add the yellow. You know, it's all up to you. This paper, though, you got to be careful what you use this on because this paper that I have here, Arteza, does not like um, these acrylic markers. It'd be trying to tear the paper and do all sorts of nonsense. So. Don't even get me started, okay? All right, let's do the eyelashes. We're going to do an eyelashes, couple of highlights. And we're going to get up out of here. Get up out of here. That was beautiful, you guys. This is one of my faves, I feel like. This is one of my faves. All right, so we're doing that same dark color. Same thing. No different. Same dark color. Dark brown. Eyelashes are very long. These eyelashes are insanely long. So, think about. And there you go, shwala. You got a little something, something going on. A little thick. I don't know if I like them like, but. I should have did this side first. Really should have. Yeah, crazy eyelash. It's all this thing. I mean, you guys can get insane with the eyelashes if you want. Like, if you want to make these things, like, super long, you can. It's up to you. Look, I got my hand all in the paint. Of course I did. It just wouldn't be me if my hand wasn't in the paint, would it?
Alrighty then, she's looking good. She's looking good. Alright, I'm going to put the same color in her nostril. Same color in the nostril. And... I got paint all over me, and... Do, do, do. Mm, mm. All right, and we almost at the finish line, y'all. We almost at the finish line. So if you have any questions, this is a good time to get them in because we almost at the finish line, honey. We just going to put like a few. I, um, I'm going to get my, my white pen, Tosca pen. We're going to put in a couple of highlights and all the things. I need to put some sort of shadow in her ear so it looks like it's a real kind of it looks like you have a normal ear, darling. So it looks like you have a normal ear. Yes. Yes, indeed. And I need to put something on the side of her face. Hold on. I gotta connect this hair over here or else it's gonna drive me crazy. I had to connect that hair over there because it was going to drive me crazy. Oh, she looks so pretty. Yes, she does. Like, you look good, girl. You look good. <clears throat> hmm. 
my god, what is going on? I ran out of paint. If I run out of paint, that means that would be like, get out of here. Yeah, quite enough. Alright, let me leave it alone. Before I do too much. Well, she does too much. This is what I do. And I start fiddling. When I start fiddling, I know it's time for me to leave it alone. Because I've done too much. Alright, let's add a couple of highlights. And we're gonna leave it alone because I can't. Cannot. I cannot and I will not. Um, let me see. Sorry, you guys. Let me see if I can get the white out of here. Am I having issues? Mm. Do I have enough? Um, I do. Before I had one. I just bought a new white one. Oh. Oh, found it. little highlights in her eye do a little bit of sparkling darling Uh, a little bit here. Do I have any white left? I think I have white. White, white, white. Somebody give me the white. <laughs> Be cute, y'all, yeah? What y'all think? All right, now you can add your white to her shirt. Or you can leave it like however you feel like you need to leave it. She cute though. Right? He real cute. Okay? This is cute. That's what you say. That ear looks weird over there though. Let me get the uh I need to change the color of the ear. Hold on. And we'll be we'll be done. All right, and that's it. That's all she wrote, peeps. I want the love, yeah. Woo. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them below. 
and I had such a good time. What do you guys think of the portrait? What do you guys want to paint on our next sketchbook Sundays? Because I plan on doing this every Sunday for a good while. I wanted to get back on YouTube consistently in the future. Um, and I want to know you guys' feedback. I want to know if you like it, you're loving it, you, are you feeling these sketchbook Sundays? Do you want more? Like, you know, I will be posting like some, some pre-recorded stuff also. I'll be posting some pre-recorded stuff also, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. What did I do with my thing? You know what, I wanted to show you guys my dress, so. I can show you my dress. I did a poem on Facebook and you guys helped me pick my dress for my birthday. <laughs> and here it is. You can't see the whole thing, but this is like a 1950s rendition of, whoa. It's like flowy and it's like tweety and it's like, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's like really beautiful it has, and it has pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm super excited about it. Hopefully I'll be able to take pictures of it and post them up on the social. Yes, indeed. But yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. And that's it, you guys. Give yourself a round of applause. So glad you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment below and let me know how you feel. And I love you guys so, so much. Stay creative. Stay safe out there. Happy Sunday. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, yes, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.